Hi everyone, it's Jade here and in today's video we are going to give Ernie's cage a makeover. So the other day I went on Amazon and I bought a bunch of stuff and I'm trying to insert the, the screen recording of me buying it all. Hi, it's voiceover Jade. So I used Amazon uh, because obviously everything's closed and I just typed in Chinchilla Toys, Save Toys, uh, filtered, prime, low to high. Um, and the first thing came up was little cute animal treat thing. Um, and so whenever I buy anything on Amazon, I always make sure I check it properly because I'm I'm always scared something's going to happen if I buy something and then like a bit falls off or whatever. So I read the reviews and I checked the everything. I read everything. Um, and then I decided actually, yep, yeah, we are buying this. So I added it to the basket. It took me a while to figure out how to do it because I had this stupid like bi-monthly. No. Um, yeah. And then I saw this ledge and I was like, he really has a ledge. But I thought, ah, fuck it. You can have two, my little prints. So yeah, did again, read all the stuff, then smashed it in my basket. And then I decided that I want to buy this bowl because um, I've always wanted to buy a bowl like this. At home we have chinchillas and they have bowls like this and they don't throw them about, or they don't wee in them. And only wees and throws about his bowls a lot. So I was like, here we go, this is the solution. And normally they're like 12 quid, so I was like sick. Then I was like, oh, I want him to be a cozy boy, so I want him to have a bet. Um, so again, low to high, prime. And I searched all the beds and I saw this one and I was like, oh yeah, sick, that's cheap. And then I saw it was small and I was like, no, I'm not getting a fucking nine pound, 10 pound bed, no. Um, and then I continued to search and I found the one that I bought. Again, I always check to see if it's safe for a chinchilla and I always check the reviews just in case something bad happens, okay? So please, don't come at me. And then that was it, and I was done, and we check out. So let's go back. Cool, sick. And I'm gonna show you what it looks like and how when it came. So it came a second ago. So, oh, 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 oh. This is a lot smaller than I thought it was gonna be, but never mind. We got this. I don't know what it is. It's, it's called a carrot toy and treat holder. <laughs> Like graze my finger on the thing. <sighs> okay. Oh, Ernie's gonna demolish this. It looks like this, and then it has little carrots. <laughs> Can you replace the carrots? I don't know if you can replace the carrots, but they're like solid wood, so they shouldn't be. You shouldn't munch them through too quick. But look how sweet is that? And then you put these little foods in there, so that's where salads are gonna go. That's so sweet. And then I got him a bed. <laughs> it's actually big. I thought it was gonna be little. Yay! <laughs> Fanny is gonna be so happy. <laughs> if he doesn't use this, I'm gonna be the biggest upset anyone's ever been. I got him that. And then I got him another little, this one's smaller than the other one. Another little perch. And I know for a fact he's going to just gnaw all of this wood off. And then I got him, yeah. <gasps> this is massive! I did not think this was going to be this big. Oh my goodness. I got him a bowl that you stick on the cage so then he won't toss it about like he always does. Or piss in it. Like he does a lot. That is actually huge. It did ask for the size of it as well and I just was like, it said milliliters and I was like, yeah, that's well right. This is the smallest one they had as well. Wow! I thought that was gonna be way smaller. I am big happy with this for small to medium pets. Yay! Okay. I'm gonna go put it in the cage in a, in a little bit. Okay. This is Ernie's cage. Oh, you will see it better in the next shot when I'm doing it up. Um, but today I'm just going to clean it out. Ernie is now running around and being a menace. He keeps hiding, which is great. Um, so what I use to clean out Ernie's cage is I, I always get his dust puff out so he can have a little dust bath while he's 
free. Um, I use my my vac. Uh, I have this vacuum. It's from. It's like a. It's. It's a big little vacuum. Oh, so it has like an attachment, so you can stand it up and use it as an actual vacuum. It's called Von. This. It's called this. Um, and so I use this, but I take off everything and I just use it like this. I use rubber gloves because it's actually disgusting. Um, uh, I have an attachment so I can get into all the nooks and crannies. And then I use this pet safe spray. So it's for the Ernie's. Um, and I use two sponges. So I have, an, I have an older sponge and a newer sponge. And then this to dry everything off afterwards because they can't get wet and stuff. I always have a bin bag close to me and a thing because it's easier to brush off the the slats than it is to try to get the hoover in there and hoover it. So the first thing I do when I clean out Ernie's cage um, is I just take everything out. So I take this everything out, um, but I'll leave the hanging things because they're difficult to take out. And then I just give it all a sweep down. Um, so yeah, and then I'll just do the bottom bit after I swept everything down because there was no point doing the bottom bit and then sweeping it down because then it's dirty again. So yeah, I'm gonna just do it now. So this is Ernie's cage, and Ernie is just inside this box down here. Um, I cleaned it out yesterday, I've already put that in already. Um, no, I didn't, I cleaned it out two days ago. Um, so yeah, this is his cage, so he's already got some toys in there. I made this one over here, because um, he had a toy and he completely demolished it immediately. He has a hammock, a ledge, and this is a cool, this here is a cool mat. He has his little um, nesting box. He's a boy, he doesn't actually nest, but he had one in his old, like before we moved him here, he had one in the cage of his mum and dad, so it's just something that they like like to sleep in. They like to hide a lot, so it gives them an opportunity to hide. Um, then he has two bowls down here. He has his green salad bowl and his um, metal, oh sorry, you can't see any. He's got his green salad bowl and his metal pellets bowl. Um, and a random coconut and then he has this toy here which is a gnaw toy um, it's it's a, a a corn he hasn't really gone out and then he has a right here you can't see it I'll move here so you can see it if you can see in here this thing here I'll whack you inside I think <laughs> uh, yeah, and then he has this little um, it's like a gnawing carrot but he's completely demolished it he's also got one up here but again that's even more demolished and then you can go right this is this I'm okay this. so we have to take this out but this it also also said we should take this out but i have no idea and we haven't got scissors up here oh do you know what we have got though i want to be really ratchet right now and get a hole punch and hole punch it I'm fucking clever as fuck. All right, so that's out now. Okay. So we're going into perch. He's new perch. We're leaving his old perch there because he likes his old perch. Um, what we are going to do is we're going to put his evils on. We're going to the bed first. We're going to put this bed. Get the bit of plastic out so he doesn't ink it. We're going to put his bed on his old perch. He's probably. I guarantee you, he's going to throw it. He's gonna go on here. Oh, he's defo gonna throw it. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna put this there, maybe. Let's see if this fits there. These sort of food things. Oh, that looks really cute. What's my mummy got you? What is that? 
Oh, straight for the bits that's gonna fall off nice and quick. Oh. Right, now he knows he has it. I just wanna put his solid in it, because I've never solid. Three to get him up there. I'm gonna, get him, I'm gonna give him a treat so he can go find his treat. Here, look, want a nut? You want a nut? You want a nut? <gasps> How difficult it was. Don't come at me, you couldn't even figure it out. You was like, oh, that's it, it's stuck forever. This is forever and ever and ever and ever stuck. Hey, I didn't say that I was smarter than you. As if I got him a new perch and he wants to fucking sit underneath here. Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> I'm such an asshole. This one has been demolished. This is how it was, and this is how it is now. He likes the carrots. He's just so fascinated with this new shelf. He's like, wow, the options are endless. You're a happy boy, and I love that for you. We want ginger tail, yay! And your salad's in there. Oh, he looks so excited. Look! You got a new food bowl? Yes, he found that one. Easter egg hunt. <laughs> he found that one. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed getting to see Oni enjoy his new little home. I think he's very happy and he's making all these little squeaky happy noises, which is so nice because I've been looking at him recently and he's been like, meow. He's just been sleeping a lot and not very excited. And so I was like, it's time. It is time he had a new house um, and he turned one in February, but I'm, I'm not gonna lie to you, we forgot because it was like dissertation time and very stressful. Um, so he did forget, but he's got a belated birthday present in April. It's all right, he's, his, birthday's not, so his birthday's at the end of, it's like 26th I think of February. So it's only a month late really, it's fine. He doesn't even know, so yeah. Happy belated birthday, baby boy. Yeah. Okay, so <laughs> I'll see you in my next video. Bye.